Hi, and welcome to the Framer X course by Design Plus Code. My name is Meng, and I'm here to teach you about this brand new tool focused on interaction design. Framer X is not like any other tool. You can build states with overrides, animate complex interactions, and work with dynamic data all within the design tool. And you can build it all yourself as a designer with very few lines of code. Or you can use one of the thousands of components that are available in their store. So in this course, you'll learn how to design layouts and icons from scratch. As you get more familiar with how FrameX works on a foundation level, we'll dive into their powerful components and override system, and also their stack tool, which allows you to build truly adaptive layouts effortlessly. Then we'll build a quick prototype with zero code that connects all the screen together using beautiful transition and scrolling. Now, code components are by far the most innovative part of Framer X. We'll learn how to code from scratch with minimal and easy to understand code for designers. We'll create custom overrides and states and build awesome animations using the power of CSS and JavaScript events. We'll also make API connections to tap into APIs like UI names and Unsplash. We'll learn how to create an icon library as a customizable code component. I tried really, really hard to make this course more about the hidden and special capabilities of Framer X. If you've learned React, you'll feel right at home. If not, I made sure that everything is step by step so that it's super easy to follow and you don't need coding experience at all. Now let's start with the design components. So they are just like symbols in Sketch. They are made for reusable elements like header, navigation, and cards. But Framer X takes this ability to overwrite to the next level. You can even change the positioning and the size of the element. In fact, you can overwrite pretty much anything you want, as long as the structure is the same. What really sets Framer X apart is the ability to edit components in code taking advantage of the power of React and building on top of the work of hundreds of thousands of JavaScript developers who have grown this platform. Developers in your team will be able to leverage their knowledge of React to contribute and build on top of what you have designed in Framer. You can even install NPM libraries like style components to make it so much easier to pass props and use CSS just like in SAS. If you work with CSS or Storyboard in Xcode, you'll feel at ease with the stacks feature. You can group together a bunch of layers and set automatic spacing and distribution. You can even reorder these elements just by dragging them. And this really makes the task of creating adaptive layouts a breeze. The scroll view is really awesome because you can set any frame to be part of a scrolling zone. And you can create sticky elements that sits on top of the content. You can even make the scroll to be horizontal instead of vertical. The preview in Framer X is really convenient and responsive. You can set it to any device that you want. It has a really comprehensive list of devices. You can even toggle the hand or not. You can also preview on your device by scanning a QR code and then opening the Framer app and this will allow you to preview in real time the design that you're working on. A really cool feature in Framer X is the ability to inspect the prototype itself. It's using the power of the browsers, which means that you can see all the CSS properties and the distances and change anything you want, just like in the browser. The store in Framer is full of gems, and this is the first time that a design tool has an app store like this one. It's really convenient to gather and contribute ideas and also to install really quickly new components. Some of the essential UI kits that I found is for example the iPhone 10 kit, which is really nice if you're designing for the iPhone 10. Um, you can even customize the states of the status bar as well as the home button. The clock is even in real time, you can even change the signals, it's really cool. Another favorite package of mine is the grid. I can customize the number of rows and columns, I can even change the padding between each item, the border radius of the items. In the end, you can just connect to any content that you want by just linking it. There's also Unsplash, which allows you to tap into a large pool of photos that are free. 
all you need to do is to drag and drop the component and automatically it's going to generate a random image using the search term that you will set. As a designer, I think designing with data is super important. So another package that I really like is called Profile, which basically allows you to set a random avatar and then set the name randomly using a country. You can quickly customize the layout to be a list or a grid, change the background and the text. You can change the title, the subtitle, as well as the size of the avatar. I absolutely love the icon generator package. It's really cool because you can simply enter the name of any icon from font awesome, material or feather and then it's gonna automatically set the icon for you. You don't even need to draw it. You can set the color of the icon because everything is in vector and you can zoom into it. It's not a simple PNG file. You also have access to a number of video components which allows you to autoplay the video in your prototype while you're designing which is pretty unique and useful because sometimes you have a background video that plays. There are a number of these video players such as the one from YouTube and Vimeo and then there's the custom one which is called video player which allows you to set any video file at all and there's no branding and I think that's even better. If you work a lot with localization, you will want to download this package called Translate. Basically, you have a component that has a text in it, and then you can set a text and you can translate on the fly to a number of languages. You can fully customize the text, you can change the background, the alignment. It pretty much supports all the languages that you can imagine. If you work a lot with maps, there's this really cool Mapbox package which basically allows you to set any map of any size. You can customize the location, the style of the map. It's really comprehensive. In Framer X, there are so many ways to render animations. A lot of designers work with After Effects and there's actually a way to put your After Effects animation on the web and it's called Lottie by Airbnb. You can set the size of the animation and then you just need the JSON data. One of the quickest way to do it is by using GitHub Gist and then getting the raw URL from it and paste it into the field called JSON and then you're gonna see your After Effects animation right here. Now to install Framer X is pretty simple. You just need to go to Framer.com and then click on try Framer X for free. It's 14 days with zero limits on the tools. They even provide some starting templates for you to learn some of the basic tools of Framer. But then you have my course, which is entirely free. I'm going to teach you how to create your own layout, your own animation to prototype, to even create your own code components. It's really, really comprehensive and it's really made for designers. I will share you all the source file for each step of the way. But for those who want a little bit more, such as to be able to download the videos, to get all the designs that I have made so far, you can just get a pro account and support us so that we can keep creating amazing content for you. Alright, so let's get started. I'll see you in the first session. Thanks so much.